It has been just a wild day in the race for the White House. Certainly has. President Joe Biden has COVID-19, and tonight he's facing calls from a top congressional Democrat to leave the race. Plus, new polling shows his support among his own party continues to slip. Also tonight, former President Trump's pick for VP takes the stage at the Republican National Convention. Chief political reporter Tom Hauser is live there in Milwaukee tonight. And there is a lot to get to, as you can see. But let's start with Ben Henry on the new developments in President Joe Biden's campaign and, of course, his health, Ben. That's right. The president shared on social media tonight he's tested positive for COVID-19 and that he's feeling good. He canceled a campaign appearance at a convention in Las Vegas and left for his home in Delaware to recover. It's another blow to his campaign that continues to lose support. According to a new poll from the Associated Press, two-thirds of Democrats say he should withdraw from the presidential race. The poll also found that only 30 percent of Democrats are extremely or very confident that he has the mental capacity to do the job, down from 40 percent earlier this year. Now, new tonight, we learned one of the biggest names in the Democratic Party, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, in a private meeting with the president, has urged him to step aside. When questioned about it, Senator Schumer's office reported he conveyed the views of his caucus. California Representative Adam Schiff also calling to, for Biden to bow out. Also new tonight, in an interview airing on black entertainment television, President Biden spoke on what it might take to reevaluate his candidacy. If there had some medical condition that emerged, if somebody, if the doctors came to me and said, you got this problem, that problem. But I made a serious mistake on the, in, the, in the whole debate. The president would go on to say his age brings wisdom and that he showed he knows how to get things done. Meanwhile, Democrats have pushed back a virtual vote to make President Joe Biden their nominee. ABC News is reporting that's to give them more time to convince him to drop out of the race. At the earliest, the vote will happen the first week of August. That is two weeks before the Democratic National Convention opens, Kevin. Okay, Ben Henry, 